Dear my child, Dear my future loved ones, whether you are a child that I gave birth to, adopted, niece, and or nephew, I just want to say that I love you. I will always love you. I don't know what the future holds, but I accept you as you are. I am exposing myself to conversations about disparity now so that I am well prepared for anything that life may give me. Most importantly, you'll be in my life and for that I will never exchange it for anything else. Sometimes it will be hard for us, at times it will be hard for me to understand you and the other times you will have a hard time coping with your struggles and experiences. Know that I am here for you. I will love you. I will support you, stand by you, and do what I can to help you. Will love you always, Kelly Cheyenne Lee. Dear student, you are nonverbal, but know that I hear you. I hear you when you use your hands to sign that you want more Skittles. I hear you when I see your eyes filled with tears of sadness when you cannot find the one and only toy that you play with. I hear you when I see you flap your hands as you jump up and down because your favorite part of the song is playing. I hear you when you are sleeping in class simply because you had a hard time sleeping at home. I hear you when you hand me an icon indicating that you want to play with my iPad. You have a voice and I hear you. Anonymous. Dear my friend, you didn't ask for this to happen. You didn't even have to say. You struggled with it all your life, battling in a psychiatric war that most won't ever know about. I apologize that I never knew either. You hid it so well with your smile, laughter, and generosity. Who would have known that you were in so much pain from the scrutiny of feeling out of place? From feeling abnormal, I know it breaks you apart because your tears lay the way to your aching heart. I am so, so sorry. There are things in life we can't change. But even with your disparity, don't ever let that stop you from being you. What you feel is insufficient. You make up with your courageous spirit, your artistic finesse, your mindful versatility, and your warm heart. No one can ever take these qualities away from you, and I wouldn't want you to be anybody else but you. Your friend, Sai Zong. Hi everyone, I just want you all to know that we are people of all abilities. If we choose to try our best and not let any disabilities define our abilities, we can do anything if we put our mind into. You only limit yourself if you say you cannot do it. Well, I don't know how to. Just know that there is always a different way to approach the problem. You can only better yourself if you can love yourself first. Anonymous. My sister, through these rough past years, though there was no spirit callings, no one to call mom and dad, no place to call home, the year is ending and a new year's just around the corner. I know that losing both of our parents, who bore all 13 of us, was hard. I wanted to let you know that you are always on my mind. Someone like you, who has a special disability, who has a very strong willpower to get where you are at today. You are very special to me and to everyone else out here. I remember you always felt like you were different from us. You went to separate schools and rode on different buses. You thought differently from all of us. You and the rest of us always questioned mom and dad. Why are you different? Why didn't you go to school with us? Ride with us to school. Why do you do things that are so behind from the rest of us? When we grew up at an age that we all understood what was going on, mama told us, you still remember? She said the doctor diagnosed something rare about you when you was just a fetus. She has a choice to abort you or keep you. 
because mama was just a migrant who didn't speak English. She will have no knowledge of taking care of a child with disabilities. They recommended for an abortion, but her love for her unborn child, you, she chose to have you to come into this world. She knew the struggle that will be on your shoulder, but she chose to save you. Mama's story of you inspired me in many ways. As a mom myself now, I think of you when I look at my kids. To my loving, bubbly sister, maybe I have not said enough in part because I was sure enough that you already knew, but just in case there are any doubts, I love you. Your sister, Shane Fang. Hello, little man. I hope you are doing well these days. I remember I first laid eyes on you, and I knew I loved you so much. You were so peaceful and quiet. You were always a curious child, and that's what I love so much about you. You knew what you liked, and being around you was easy. You are very determined and creative, and I hope you continue to remain the same. I want to remind you that no matter what you go through in life. I want you to know that I am here for you. I love you, Anonymous. Darius, beautiful darling, you are the sweetest gift, and I adore you deeply. You are a bright young lady, and the whole world is in front of you. Take things as they come, and you will weather well. Go everywhere. Be brave, strong, and free. Keep your eyes, ears, and heart wide open. Look for the goodness all around you, and when you feel small in the great big world, be still. Think of your beautiful roots; they are deep and true, and will allow you to stretch further than you can imagine. There are so many wonderful features I can't say enough about you. Honestly, I don't have a daughter yet, but I know that you're just like my own daughter too. I truly care about you, so if you ever need someone to talk to, just know that I am just a phone call away. And most importantly, keep in mind that life is short, so go into the world and let your little light shine. And always remember, you are loved and blessed. Plus, you're the littlest one that stole my heart. Love, Victoria Moore. Dear my child, the world is full of challenges on its own. Yet life chose you to have more than others. I truly believe it was because you are going to be the one to show all of us that no matter what challenges we face, we can overcome. So I thank you for being you. When I look at you, I see beyond your disability. I see a great smile, a strong spirit, and a beautiful soul. I look forward to seeing you grow up and becoming an amazing individual. Last but not least. Do not ever let your disability define you. We define ourselves. Sincerely, Hill Mua.